This is David with Tony'sPicks.com here with a two-team MLB parlay for Friday, August 30th, 2024. The parlay on Thursday in the world of college football did not go our way as Colorado allowed that late score to North Dakota State to blow the cover. But we'll look to bounce back here today. We're going back to the diamond, back to the MLB. And the first one we're going to look at here, the Atlanta Braves taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. I actually like the Braves here on the money line, currently sitting right at about plus 115. Braves are playing some pretty solid baseball recently. They're in the fight for that uh, NL wildcard spot. I know the NL East is probably going to go to the Phillies. They have a pretty comfortable lead, but Braves are playing very well right now. They've won three of their last four games. They're going with Reynaldo Lopez on the mound, who has been fantastic this season. He's allowed two earned runs or fewer in just about every start since early May, uh, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. He's pitched very well. I know he's going up against uh, a good Phillies home team here, but I think he can hold his own on the Philly side. You know, like I said, they have a comfortable lead in that NL East, but they haven't played their best baseball over the last few weeks, especially compared to how they played prior to the All-Star break. The Phillies are going with Ranger Suarez, who did pitch well in his first start after coming off of the IL, but prior to going onto the IL, he allowed three earned runs or more in four consecutive starts. He had some issues there. I know the Braves' offense isn't as great as we're used to seeing in past seasons, but I think they can do enough here against Suarez while Lopez is able to hold it down. So I like the Braves on the money line for the first leg of the parlay. Second leg, we're going to go with the San Francisco Giants on the run line, minus the one and a half, currently sitting right around minus 110. Giants are coming off of a series loss in Milwaukee. Uh, they're kind of on the fringe, not really, of the NL wildcard race, but uh, they do play much better at home. They're 38-28 and 28 on the season. San Francisco isn't great pitching, but their pitcher in this one is fantastic. Blake Snell has been great all season long. He's allowed two earned runs or fewer in eight of his last nine starts. I know he had some poor control last time out, only went three or four innings. Uh, didn't allow too many runs, but had some walk issues. But Snell, fantastic pitcher. He should be able to handle this uh, Marlins offense, especially when you look at Miami. They've been horrible this season, one of the worst teams in baseball. Horrible on the road, horrible at home. Uh, towards the bottom in runs scored, in team ERA, just really struggling. Uh, they're going with Adam Aller here, who actually pitched uh, decently well in his second start. I think he faced the Cubs. Pitched pretty well, but San Francisco at home is a different animal, especially going up against Snell. I think the Giants probably only have to get three, four runs in this one to cover the one and a half. So I'm going to take the Giants minus the one and a half as the second leg for a total of plus 305. We're in that area uh, with the Giants on the run line and the Braves on the money line. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you're looking for my best bets, I had another winning day on Thursday night in college football and Major League Baseball. Head on over to Tony'sPicks.com or click the link below this video. Good luck, and I'll see you guys soon.